All right, as you can see, this axle is already taken apart. You didn't miss it. First, I'm gonna show removing the unit bearings and the axle shafts from this thing because that's what I have a feeling most of you guys are looking for. So I'm gonna throw that up front. Go ahead and watch that part. Give me a like if you could and be on your way. But if you wanna have some more fun, keep tuned in and you can see the full disassembly. Thanks guys. So this snap ring seems to be giving people some trouble. These are the pliers to use. They're Nipex brand 4911A3s is the part number. that easy. All right, so as you can see, this axle came complete. Uh, we've got tie rod, drag link, track bar, track bar bracket that used to go on the frame of the old Ford it came off of. Um, that's great because we got a lot to work with, but there's also a lot of stuff in our way to getting this thing completely torn down to where we want it before we start building it back up again. So we're going to start by taking all that extra stuff off and go from there. got the stock drag link which is runs from the pitman arm down to your knuckle uh, and the tie rod the tie rod I'm gonna keep for sure this tie rod here is pretty huge that taper obviously seats in the knuckle so we wouldn't have to do anything on that side this is an inch and three-quarter tube here uh, so that's a pretty stout piece it's probably 3 16 thick um, like I said, I'm definitely going to keep it for this tie rod in here. The other side, though, is a little bit funky. As you can see, this has got a double taper, and the tie rod is actually a sleeve. You can see that's just a sleeve part right there, and then your drag tie rod end has a real long pin that runs through it and through the knuckle. What I'll probably do, uh, at least for the short term, uh, I can set up the steering to where I'm reusing the stock tie rod and reusing the stock drag link end, the tie rod end on the drag link. I'll just take it off here, build a new drag link so that I can adapt it to my pitman arm for whatever steering box I end up running. I mean, I'm going to get replacement parts, but I'm going to run this style steering. We'll see if something comes up later on and I don't like it, I can always change it then, but I'm certainly not going to get rid of these parts because they could prove very useful. This mount is kind of nice. I could run it upside down on the top side. As you can see, that still fits. Um, I don't know. I could possibly run a hydro assist type bracket off of it if I do hydraulic assist on this axle for steering. That's a little part, but that's pretty useful. Those cuts and those uh, for the axle tube, those are nice to have pre-made. That'll save me a lot of time later. So I'm gonna keep that one just in case.
Look at the size of that paper. It's like seven eighths of an inch with the minor diameter. Too bad we're not gonna use it. Track bar, there's not really anything we're gonna be able to do with it. Uh, since we're doing a custom application, nothing on this is remotely universal. So we're just gonna scrap that. That's of no use to us. is obviously not going back into a Ford. As you can see, there's some things missing, um, which I'll show the whole process of that in a later video. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Thanks for watching.